Hello, this is Jeff Rowe for the 3D PDF Consortium, and I am at the Defense Manufacturing Conference this week in Denver, and joining me this afternoon is Tony Provencal, Director of Technical Sales at ITI. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having me, Jeff. What industry trends do you see that are impacting OEMs as they deploy uh, MBD? Well, interestingly, with MBD, uh, really, when you look at it from an OEM perspective, we see a big challenge in getting data to the supply chain. So one of the things that we've seen a lot of is kind of a revisiting of focusing on industry standards to get data uh, into the supply chain. And that's posed a lot of challenges. Uh, it's really closely tied into technical data packaging and how the OEMs can package the right amount of data and the right level of detail so that people at all levels of the supply chain can get the data they need at the right time. Can you discuss some of the uh, exciting things that you foresee from ITI's perspective happening in the future with regard to MBE? Yeah, so MBE, uh, it's really an evolution. There's no real quick way to get to MBE as we try to minimize the amount of drawings that are used in the supply chain. Today visualization is great, so we see a lot of companies building processes around not using a drawing and using 3D data to visualize downstream processes. But I think the next step really is that step towards automating the reading of that data and not needing the, the person to interpret everything. So that idea of not only producing visual data for downstream use, but also that semantic data that you hear about the okay. definition of data right. and being able to consume that, use that. And there's really a tremendous opportunity to cut time and cost out of those downstream sure. processes. Because sure. if you think about it, a lot of times models have been going with drawings over the last few decades, but people are still then remodeling, re-entering all that information in these uh -huh. in manufacturing and in inspection. Okay. And we're starting to see those first uses where that model is being used directly to feed inspection processes I and see. things like that. I see. Can you talk a little bit about what you're showcasing here on the exhibit floor this year? Yeah, uh, ITI has been working recently on projects focusing in advanced manufacturing and also on MBD deployment and MBE, uh, MBE deployment. Mm -hmm. So those projects the, are really centered around a lot of our validation work and as we try to look at how that data is moving from the authoring phase or the design phase, validation has played a key role and we've been working with a lot of the clients that we see here at DMC in how they can collect that data and validate that so they have confidence and trust in the data that they're then pushing out into the supply chain.